day five of the Trailblazer League, it's time for me to unlock my final relic, start chasing down the high ranks, as well as get myself into a lot better gear. Let's get into it. Okay, this should be 200 points right here from completing a veteran game of pest control, as well as keeping the guy over 150 HP. Very, very nice. That puts us to 14, 470. I boosted my Slayer using a Wild Pie to defeat Cerberus for the 250 point task. She also had another 250 point task if I could defeat her before she could summon souls. I don't think I'll do it. I think I might have it, dude. Oh my god, I did it! Dude, uh, bro, defeat a Slayer boss, defeat Cerberus, defeat Cerberus before she summons souls? I just went to 15k! I just went to 15k in one skill, dude! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god, that's so nice. We get our final relic. Okay, so I just went from 14 something to 15k points in one Cerberus kill. And now I'm gonna choose my final relic, which puts my XP up from 12x to 16x. Weapon specialist. All of my attacks have 10% increased accuracy and 10% increased damage. Amazing. And the really big thing is every 30 seconds, my special attack energy is restored by 30%. And anything that costs more than 20% only costs 20% now. So for example, if I had an AGS spec that would usually cost 50% spec, it only costs 20% spec. I think I explained that great. Maybe not, but that is the final relic we'll be unlocking. Awesome. So with this relic, one of the biggest items in the game for me is the BGS. So I decided to head over back to Bandos and I actually streamed this Bandos trip live on my Twitch, which is linked down below if you're interested, as I will be streaming here and there. Anyway, we headed back to Bandos in the hopes to get a hilt and maybe some other drops. Oh my god. This is about to be the world record Bandos kill, by the way. Yo! Awesome. And yo, Stevie Thunder coming in with a Twitch Prime sub as well. Thank you so much, bro. I appreciate that more than you know. Bandos Tacits as well. What a nice kill, dude. What a nice kill. We literally didn't use a single food. And we got Tassets. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Now we just need the boots. Now we just need the boots and the hill. Come on. Just kill it. Nice. Gold Sword Shard 3. Okay, that's good. We're gonna need a full blade eventually. We're actually gonna, we've actually gotten fairly fucking lucky at Baddos so far. I have 58 KC to have full Baddos and a Gold Sword Shard 3. Nice. How you doing, bro? You've been playing leagues. Oh, I got the pet! I got the pet 61 kill count. No way I got the pet 61 kill count. That's another 250 points. 61 kill count, I got full badness and the pet. Let's go, dude. So the drop rates of the armor and hilt are actually boosted on leagues to 1 in 127 for the armor and 1 in 169 for the hilt due to me having all the un relics unlocked. So while the drop rate is boosted, I'm still extremely lucky to have both Tassies and a BCP. However, the chance of getting a pet is not boosted at all and is a 1 in 5,000 drop rate and I managed to get it in 61 KC. Completely insane. 100 KC was really easy. <laughs> this kill especially. No, come on, don't hit all zeros here. I jinxed myself, bro. I actually jinxed myself. That's disgusting. I thought I was just gonna just get sliced. There we go, nice. 100 KC. Okay, oh, that, okay, that's an elite toss done though, so 250 points earned. Nothing, no loot though. But that puts me up to 15, 570. Bandos Boots! That's 500 points right there. That's 500 points right there. 106 KC. Woofed. Woofed. Equip a full Bandos armor set. 500 points on 16k now. Got it. I get, I get, I get what you're saying. My bad. <laughs> okay, well, another Bandos chest plate. Not gonna complain. But I, I would have liked to help. 116 kill count, two BCPs, Tassies, Boots, and the pet. <laughs> oh my god. Champion scroll? Bruh. I'm not getting this hill, I don't think. I'm getting too lucky on everything else to, for me to get the hill. Nice. 
nice. That was a quick kill. <laughs> Three Vandos chest plates, 123 kill, uh, kill count. Another BCP. Oh my god. Dude, I thought that was going to be the 5x DDS kill. I was getting mad hyped. Damn. <sighs> 170 kill count Bandos tassets. Two sets of tassets, three sets of chest plates, shoes, goblin scroll, no hilts. I am the richest man in Gilmore right now. Can he stop ticking me down, please? I'm legit getting smoked out. Thank you. Bantos boots! Oh god. I'm literally gonna have so many fucking- I have everything but the hilt, like, over and over again. Another- Dude. 190 kill count. Bandos boots three. Just give me a hilt, man. I'll trade all of these for one hilt, bro. I want the Bandos hilt so bad for a lot of reasons. Simply put, the tier six relic I've chosen is OP as fuck. If I had a BGS, it would allow me to spec literally anything in the game with a BGS five times in a row consecutively, making the opponent's defense virtually non-existent. Bosses like Ziliana, which are traditionally killed through range, would be paper to my BGS. Every single task that I could abuse a BGS for, I would, and it would be the easiest points in the game. However, after my third Bandos Boots drop, I decided to call it quits for the day and decided to try another fun challenge, which was one of the Fight Caves' speedruns. There are loads of different tasks to do with the Fight Caves, one being a 250 point task to complete it in under 35 minutes, and another being a 500 point task to complete it in under 25 minutes. I'm going to attempt these both in one go. I don't really have any speedrun experience, so I'm just going to have to rely on the relics to carry me through here. Let's try. Kill. Kill. Okay. Damn it, I got an under 35. 29 minutes, 10 seconds. I can get it next time. I can get it next time. Not right away, but next time. 89 Slayer and another task done. Elite task, under 35 minutes. Damn it. Like I said in yesterday's video, it's time for me to not only start catching up in gear, but in ranks. Today we got loads of bandos pieces and kill count done, but we also got loads of tasks done in the progress and right beforehand. And I'm happy to announce we have climbed all the way up to rank 108 out of every single person playing Trailblazer on day 5. Now like I said, as the days carry on, I will continue to climb more and more. And at the time of me editing this video, there's about 8 hours left in day 5. And I'm going to spend it all doing more hard tasks. So I want you guys to make sure you guys are subscribed and stay tuned for tomorrow's video. Because I could potentially be breaking into top 50 ranks or even beyond that. Stay tuned and I'll see you guys later.